Donald Trump says he's committed to protecting America from terrorism. Everybody's cool with that. But what kind of terrorism are we talking about, Mr. President? I'm pretty sure he's talking about the folks who look like this and this. And these are dangerous people responsible for taking American lives. But he's also talking about these people. Do we really need to be scared of them? Because if we look at the numbers, we shouldn't be. Almost three quarters of extremist related deaths in America over the last 10 years were at the hands of, you guessed it, white men. But for some reason, the president won't call them terrorists. They're mentally ill. They're unstable, lone wolves. We should at least call them a wolf pack because there's a lot of them. Americans are nearly twice as likely to be killed by a white male terrorist than a Muslim, and it happens when you're minding your own business. Walking down the street, enjoying a concert, attending a political rally, practicing baseball, worshiping at a church, praying at a synagogue, shopping for groceries, posing in downward dog in a yoga class, even going to school. In 2018 alone, there have been at least 10 acts of terror carried out by white American men. The latest being at Borderline Bar and Grill, where a white guy killed 12 people. You know what? We shouldn't be that surprised. White men have been terrorizing Americans for a long time. When the president says terrorists, he's not talking about any of these wonderful people. So, when I'm aware of an immigrant or Muslim in my presence, I'm cool as penguin feet. However, when I see a white man, shouldn't I wonder if he's mentally stable? That would suck, because living a life afraid of terror is a terrible existence, and there are a lot of white dudes in America. So, Mr. President, will you fulfill your promise of protecting America from terrorists, which, statistically speaking, are men who look just like you?